I heard. <gasps> oh. It looks really fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the rustiest vehicle I've ever seen. I was just kind of excited, like. But hey, everything buddy. would rust. Oh. Got everything would rust because you know the, the air is so thick with with moisture and, and fog. And, and it also isn't like salty water more rusty, rust inducing. Sure. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you found like, it! Wow, man, we are like so good at games. Oh, are those full of water? Or meat? Feet? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, bam. Expedition headquarters. <gasps> uh oh. Wow. Uh oh. <laughs> Guess I don't need the key. <laughs> oh, got him. Choo choo. Choo choo, ahem. The dangers of diving. Divers with the bends can suffer from numerous symptoms, including pain, impaired movement, nausea, vomiting, and disorientation. Acute symptoms can occur within 10 minutes of surfacing. And including paralysis, numbness, blindness, deafness, dizziness, seizures, confusion, or words coming out all weird. Uh, Wait that's a the minute. that's the medical term. The paralysis and numbness. Words uh, coming out all weird are literally lyrics from the Radiohead song "The Bends." Words are coming out all weird. Where are you now? Wow! Oh my God! Wow! What a reference. Uh, the paralysis and numbness can involve several different parts of the body at the same time. Okay. Right. Watch out when diving. Uh-oh. Spooky vision! Oh, spooky vision. How do we do it? Is it left click? It's Q! Okay, I'm just gonna, like... Someone smashed it beyond repair. What? Uh, oh, it's, uh, it's a jukebox, I suppose. Uh... It feels a bit anachronistic, though. Like, did they have jukeboxes in the twenties? Yeah, like especially like hand cranked. They ones. wouldn't have called them jukeboxes. They would have called them something weird. Fucking burbs. Burbs. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Oh, they're omens. They're pointing the way. Oh, this doesn't feel good. Jesus. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna take off the spooky vision, uh, just for a moment. Wait, so was this like always there or No. <laughs> uh Oh I don't like this. I don't fucking like this. Do we switch to the gun? Ah Whoa! <laughs> Fuck! He shot me! Fucking shoot him! Get your gun out! Get your fucking gun out! I didn't have my gun out. Ah. Boom. That's it, one shot. One right shot, in the head. one kill. Don't mess with me. Fucking Ow. hell. Oh. I think we're alright. They've got a lot of, like, statues and shit. They look kind of weird. They look like uh, Abyssinian or something. Skis? Oh, I can't believe that dude fucking shot us. And we just iced him. Well, you should shoot him right in the fucking forehead. Yeah, that's true. What did you ex- Oh. Partially burned cargo manifesto. Uh, the following must be delivered. Uh, Grimhaven Bay, no later than Friday. <laughs> Uh, some diving suits, air tanks, canned food, personal belongings, research equipment, phone, station wires, power generator. Okay. So this is a clue that you're going to piece together with some other info. Oh, hello. Um. Yeah, so. Oh. Oh. I guess this helmet's beyond repair. Wait, can you not just change the glass? That feels very, like, repairable. Nope. Beyond repair. Oh, yeah. There we go, okay. Oh, that, uh-oh. Ah, hello. 
Oh, Jesus. Grab the papers. Smash the rest. Fish boys. Oh, fucking fish man, man. Fucking fish man. Ah. Yeah! Let's break that music box so they can't listen to any tunes when they get back either. I think it might have been that they had uh, recordings that they, you know, that they were making about the case or whatever they were investigating. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, he's putting up like a magic fucking wall! That's cool! Oh, and he did say Dagon. Yeah. Uh, Rutro. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Okay. Right, they'll still Fuck those adverts! Yeah. Don't put them start of this club up again. Oof. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Time to figure this out. <laughs> oh, the order. Yeah. We don't have time that to pick it. One, Stand back. Two. Uh, the then paper. smashing the stuff. Smash the rest. Go down to the basement. Put up the magic wall. And I then. Fatal. Burn the shit. Burn it all. There was sure a jukebox you get the adverts. Oh, fuck. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. What they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. Oh, did we just fail? No, I think you've got enough to put it together. Okay. Right. The expedition archive is lost, but they've still got a few clues to follow up on. They left the city on a freighter from Grimhaven Bay. There might be recent postings or ads about the freighter in the Oakmont Chronicle. Great. Uh, so find the newspaper, I guess. Several men with the Innsmouth Syndrome broke into the expedition headquarters and destroyed everything in sight. Innsmouth Syndrome? Um, even adverts... Okay, so we've got to get hold of the newspaper and the dangers of diving. <clears throat> Do you have any more skills? No. Not far off, dinging. Not far off. So what was that fucking wall they put up? They put up another one, didn't they? Here. No, this was the wall. Oh, right, okay. That's the one that we came through. Um, and we managed to, like, see through their, like, um, obscuffusion magic, or whatever the fuck the word would be. Hmm. Alcohol. Fisherman reports. Al Sullivan and B. Morgan. Local fisherman reports numerous large bubbles and a breathable stench raising from the bottom of the oh, sea. Oh, someone's farting. Oh, Simon. Uh, bought a sample of the weird substance floating on the ocean from J. <laughs> Harvey. Uh, or Harway. He claims he found it among the numerous dead and strangely deformed fish. The fish were taken for analysis. Several locations mention a rock that rose from the seabed, making the fog shine in different colours. The witness felt sick and dizzy for two or three days after the incident. LP Stern got severe burns after chiseling off part of the rock in his basement. Sample taken from a lance. Radioactive fucking rock. Oh. These samples glitter in a weird way. I wonder where they came from. Hmm. Magic. Space, I imagine. See space rocks. Wow. Oh, this is the professor. Professor Doe. Oh. The Oakmont University Department of Anthropology welcomes the newest addition to its ranks, Professor Harriet Doe. Her brilliant discoveries about the origin of Inuit tribes have added a new page to the history book of humanity. Now Professor Doe will embark on a new expedition to hopefully shed light on the source of the flood, and in doing so, shed light on what may yet to come. The flood makes me think of Halo. <laughs> the floods, the flood are coming. Oh, map of Cape Cod. It looks like there was something here, but it's been erased. <laughs> map of Cape Cod. I like how you take pictures and like there was something here, but it's been erased. You don't have a record of those pictures. They, they're, they're. I don't not think I even have anymore. film in my camera. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like snapping away. Oh, did you get that loot over there? That little cupboard. Don't fucking. 
I'm still I keep like thinking oh, ahead. Yeah, oh, bullets. Actual Let's bullets. Say I ever saw another shell like it. Wow, all I've done is collect it. Look at us. Oh. How to protect? According to oh, this is Harriet. Um, according to our data, the places with paranormal activity have a strong, previously unidentified influence on the human mind. We have prepared a list of solutions, including meditative practices and a supply of sedatives to prevent cases of madness among the expedition members. I highly recommend discarding all those charms, amulets and religious symbols which are of no use and applying these scientifically valid methods of protection instead. Oh, Harriet. Oh, you poor fool. You're relying on science. So wrong, dude. Uh. Okay. Huh. It's kind of weird the handles are like vertical. Well, that makes sense. It's like a, yeah. like a handle of a door. Just not really seen it on like drawers before. Yeah. So you're going to piece together the, the, the hot clues. Boom. Oh. Is that it? There's, there's no... We need to get a copy of the Oakmont Chronicle. Right. Where's, like, the little newspaper fish boy? Read all about it! Oakmont need... Chronicle! There's fucking water everywhere! And it owns! <laughs> it's great! I love it! Oh. oh. Shoe shine. Oh! Oh, is this, like, Animal Crossing? Can you change the colour of your shoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, buddy. Me, me, me. Okay, it looks like I'm getting my shoes signed. <laughs> okay, right. Where the fuck are we going to get a copy of the newspaper? Do you like the... Oh, here! <gasps> newspaper! The Elkmart Chronicle! Oh my god, so good at game. Can you put a marker down on it? Place mark. Space, just space. Put some. There we go. Oh, great! You're a real detective, there, lad. That's like that's a fairly nice car. In a rust. Oh, look at hang, hang on. Oh, he's gone. He vanished. Yeah, people really like. He had scales on his chest, like green scales on his chest. I think that's the first time we saw a topless. Topless in fish Smelfer. boy. Wow. Oh my god. They have like gigantic harpoon defense. That's pretty cool. Why would they need them? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that's a. Um, a very specific choice. Chekhov's harpoon. Oh my god. Oh shit, sorry, you dropped your Oh my god, like tentacle trident. Man, they are kinda of fucking fishy. I like his tattoos. Oh they're fucking they own. If I was gonna get a tattoo, I would get shit like that. Just all over your body. <laughs> yeah, like John Constantine. Wow. Yeah. Okay, thanks buddy. Oh look. He's like a chubbier fish man. Wait, he's not He's not he a fish man. He's oh, just god. a chubby fella. <laughs> Oh! oh! Fuck! Oh my god. Oh my god. What do I do? Just run from him. Will the police save me? You can't me? just murder him. Police. That man's gonna commit a crime. Halt! Criminal scum! He's coming for me. Like, I'm gonna have to let him hit me once in front of the cops. Cops? Ow! Cops and fucking He care. gives zero shits. Okay, let's just get out of here. He's just going to follow you forever now. It's going to be like it follows. Wow. <laughs> but then he changes forms. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck was that over there? What? Oh, it's just... <laughs> it's just a fucking guy. Do you think it was like an a... advert. I was like, it's some sort of giant beast. <laughs> <laughs> some giant sailor boy. <laughs> oh, he's coming for you. No, I He's think coming we, for you. I think we lost him. You have to... F someone, or he'll follow you forever. Like, I'm ready. <laughs> Boom. Shovel. Uh, wait, where are we going again? 
You're distracted. Oh. We go to the Elkmont Chronicle, see? Didn't you place a marker? Yeah. Where's the fucking marker gone? I don't know, it's just... Did you go past it? All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister? Yeah, I will. Buddy, seriously. <laughs> Wait, I've got a plan. Oh, I thought if I could run into him, he'll drop his paper. No. What's your problem? What's your problem? Whoa! <laughs> that was witchcraft. More like glitchcraft. Ayo! Oh. Can I just read hers? <laughs> I don't want a treasures! I'll just develop that at home. Oh, look at all these papers! We can't loot any of them. They're gonna get so <laughs> wet and ruined, guys. Let's get a new one. Let's get a fresh one from inside. Where they print them. The old papers are by the door. Take them and stop bothering me already. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Aren't you a newcomer? You look a lot like the fortune teller. Yeah. Uh. So. Help me out here. What's the connection between newcomers and old newspapers? It's cold sleeping in the street, and, and they come to collect the old newspapers for warmth. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. And I also need your old newspapers. Uh, the archive. <laughs> I need all of them. Ah, so so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Oh. Give me an exclusive interview. Oh. You won't regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper it's for miles around. It's the only newspaper. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll uh, be sure to make some time for you, Miss Bland. Miss Bland. Let's do it. Let's do the interview. Yeah. Do you still want that interview? I uh, I got some time now, if you're ready. Oh, absolutely. We know that you're the private eye who solved the case. But tell our reader something more about yourself. Ooh. Um, I'm a navy man. See, I think that would be good because they are like fish. They like fishermen. They like sailors. Saying that like you were, like you did, you worked on a boat. The locals would be like, oh, you know. Yeah, but the locals hate the insmouthers. But we're like it's like a fishing town. Uh, sure. Okay. I'm a former navy diver. A diver. I served on the USS Cyclops and. Well, after the war, I found myself in Boston. I've been a private eye ever since. I think this is a good oh, angle. A brave sailor. Well, I imagine you'll get accustomed to local life easily. We have plenty of water around here. LOL. Well, maybe we'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I feel like we big... will. Is she flirting with us? I hope so. What brought you to Oakmont? Um... I think I, I'm going to go for it. I think. Okay, sure. Currently, I'm tracking down the source of the psychic phenomenon that's been causing madness and visions all across the country. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it affected people here, but we were much more concerned with the shit. Flight, though Robert Throgmorton sent an expedition. Yeah. And then hired me to find it. Ironic, don't you think? I think that's enough for now. I don't think oh. we can't give the readers too much all at once. Irony. Thank you for your interview, Mr. Reed. My pleasure. And maybe I'll do something interesting enough to make the papers again. Uh oh. Now. See you later. Anyway, safe. we still need that archive. Uh oh. Who's this, like, shady character who's clearly not fucking reading? I'm Shady McGee! <laughs> <laughs> Let's say McGee instead of McGee. McGee! So do you want to press T? To s oh! oh! I thought that was a swastika for a minute. <sighs> so you didn't look at the how to do archives thing. So you, you press, press T. There we go. So you press T and then it says tips. So archives. There we go. You'll often need to look for, in for useful information within various city archives. 
Archives contain topical information. Oh my god, it is a fucking Call of Cthulhu RPG. Uh, casebook evidence may hint. Icon indicating you need to do some active research. Sure, okay, we can work that out. But I like the idea that different kinds of records are held in different locations. Don't ruin the archives. A newspaper. The expedition's lost. Maybe they can find clues to Freighter from Grimhaven Bay. So Freighter adverts... Ad, advent? That's not advert. Grimhaven Bay. Oh, God. Section oh advertory, advertising? Adver there we go. And we need a third thing? Period. Oh. After the flood? When's contemporary? Yeah, I guess after the flood is now. An F. Aha! Fucking. Look at us. Um, the 30 ton ship Titania is currently available for hire. You'll find her fully equipped for transport as well as the aiding of underwater ventures and exploration. All for the price of 50, uh, 70 rifle bullets. Wow, 50. Jeez. Uh, or the equivalent thereof per week. Those interested are urged to contact Captain Jeremiah Sanders. Uh, for contracting details, he'd be found at Pier 3, Oakman Port, Grimhaven Bay. Well, we know where to find him. Right. Grimhaven Bay it is. Man, that was cool. Because, like, Cthulhu is all about reading. Researching and discovering information. Uh, uh, Grimhaven Bay, Pier that? 3... Bam. And also, we know our way around Grimhaven Bay so fucking well. Yeah, we do. We spent a lot of time there, didn't we? We really did. How does fast travel work? I think we need to be at like a phone box or something. We need to be at a phone box. Maybe it's more like the Matrix. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> Parker. I need pictures of fish man. To your friendly neighborhood fish man. Wow. Fish man, fish man, does whatever a fish can. No, it goes wherever a fish can. Oh, so in the water then. On the land, in the sea. <sighs> he does not like the chimpanzee. Watch out. Here comes the fish man. Has gills, has scales. He has horrible fish nails. The fish don't really have nails, do they? They have fish fingers. <laughs> yeah. Um. Ow. Shit. Every time. Every time. Maybe that's just how you totally start the engine. <laughs> yeah, just give it like a. Funny really whang it. Um, I ow. am worried that something is just gonna pop out of the fucking water. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Oh, a little bridge. Oh, I don't like this fucking giant monolithic thing. Yeah, that doesn't seem super good. Wow, there's a lot of whales. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh, fuck! <laughs> the guy is just like, do you mind? Fucking newcomers. <laughs> fucking newcomers. Well, no, what do they, what do they say? Grok. Drock. Drock. Drocking newcomers. Drocking newcomers. Now they got this glossary. Is this a good spot? Yeah. Yeah, sure. it's not terrible. Sure. What are these dudes up to? It feels like you shouldn't get involved, you know? Wow, he like fought him for his little ball. And then just it. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking the slap. Just that noise. Yeah. It's very <laughs> it's very Lucasfilm, isn't it? Yes. Oh, and they're just friends again now. The Indiana Jones smack. <laughs> I don't like the green juice. <laughs> Jeez. Is this where we're we going? Sure. Let's have a look at what's down here. Just Where's run into the fucking. Get the truck out of here! Get the truck out of here! Boom! Drock you too, buddy! Drock you too! Drock your mother! Ah! Shrimp rats! Oh. Are they all rats that have been like. They're like the host 
for their shrimp thing, aren't they? That's kind of what it looks like. Are they really... Are they... No, they're cats, dude. Oh, no, they're cats. They're like extra stuff has grown out of. Oh. Oh, no. That's horrible. Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't mind it when they were rats. Oh. Hey, guys. It's me. Chubby call this guy. I love these videos. Uh, put a like on it if you like it. Uh, or don't if you don't want to. Um, I might not put a like because they took a photo of me and I'm very camera shy. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow. Uh, yeah. Um, I ate some bad fish earlier. Uh, so, so until next. See ya. Goodbye.